channel i'm just a girl who's enthusiastic about makeup and positivity and when i say positivity i mean bringing people up not pushing people down being mean is not cool awesome people are not mean so be kind all the time so welcome to another edition of glamour in pajamas i had so much fun doing it last week that i decided to do it again this week i think i might make it a weekly thing we'll see i don't know it's just kind of fun because like i said in my other video a lot of times when i come home from work and i'm already relaxed and in my pajamas that's when I'll like get ideas of looks that I want to try out so I figured like why not try them out just like on camera so all I did now is I just have foundation and blush and all that jazz on I haven't done anything to my eyes and that's mainly going to be the focus of glamour and pajamas that's the focus of most of my videos because that's my favorite part of makeup is eyeshadow followed very closely by highlight and lipstick but eyeshadow is my absolute that's that's my weakness that's my love eyeshadow so let me just quickly grab I'm going to put my P. Louise base on in the color 0.5. It also, I think it's Rumor 0.5. So to start off, I'm just going to go into my Essence Fairy Rings and Magical Things palette. Um, this look I had an idea for actually last night when I was going to bed. And I was like, oh, let me try it. So I'm going to go into this color Fairy On right here. This is such a cute little palette. It's, oh, I love it. I love fairies and stuff like that too. I'm very into like whimsical, magical, celestial type of things. So I'm just going to take this on a Moda Pro 430 crease brush and I'm going to apply that just to my crease and socket area. I'm actually going to bring it on like the high, definitely focusing more on the socket area versus the crease. Just in a back and forth motion. It's a really pretty matte uh, pink color. It's nice and light. These colors are buildable, but I like that they're also on the lighter side as well. The palette is actually full mainly of more, it has more like metallic shimmers in it than mattes, but it's a really cute companion palette. And it was only ten dollars unfortunately i do not believe it's available anymore but essence always comes out with really cute things for being like a cheaper brand i like essence a lot uh, they have my favorite brow gel for 2.99 i like their lip liners i love um, their hollow essence lip gloss yeah i have a couple of things i really like from them i actually have two brushes that i think are really nice i want to take a blending brush and just kind of smooth it out a little bit so it'll look like that now I'm gonna switch gears and I'm gonna jump into the <clears throat> what was up with my voice right there geez now I'm just gonna switch gears and I'm gonna go into the Moonspell I mean, Lunar Beauty Moonspell palette and I'm going to jump into the color page right here and I'm just gonna take that on a Morphe 514 brush And I'm going to apply that in like a back and forth motion in my crease area. Really just darkening that pink area up. And then I want to take the brush that I had uh, the lighter pink on and just go over the top a little bit just kind of blending the two together and smoothing out the edges so it'll look like that so far for my brow bone area I'm gonna do a combination of genie in a palette and ice castle right here and I'm just gonna take it on a pencil brush right here The names in this palette are really cute too. I love that you can do some really, really pretty pastel looks with this palette. So I'm just gonna apply Genie in a palette first and then go over that with Ice Castle. It just gives it a really nice, um, they're both like satin shimmers, but 
it just gives it a nice more pinkishy white tone because genie in a palette is a little more peachy pink and ice castle is a little more, little more blue but i find them together to look really pretty i mean apart they're pretty as well but just for this look they work better together so like that and then i do want to take the brush that i had the light pink on and again just blend them out so that there's no crazy harsh lines between them. Now we're going back into the Lunar Beauty palette and we're going to go into the color Piper right here. And I'm actually going to take that on my finger. That's also a kind of um, satin metallic finish and I find that it definitely applies better with your finger. I actually did try and apply it with a brush earlier and I really didn't like how it went. And I'm going to apply this to my almost my entire mobile lid. Like that and then I also want to go back in with the brush that I had Paige on and just go around kind of blending them together a little more so like this so there's uh, two shimmers and like kind of glittery shimmers in the Lunar Beauty palette um, Phoebe and Prue right here that I actually want to apply over where I um, apply Piper, but I'm actually going to use a glitter glue first and then apply them on top of that. So I've applied the glue to my mobile lid and I'm just going to take my finger and go into the color Phoebe, which is the pink sparkly one here. Oh, look at the way that picked up in the light. Ooh. And I'm going to apply that to my mobile lid where I applied the tacky base. And I went... And then I'm actually going to go into the color. I'm just going to go into the color Prue, which is the color that looks like this. It's like a purpley, bluishy pink color shift. And I'm going to put that on the innermost part of my mobile lid. So it will look like that so far. I definitely think that I want to darken up the outer corners of my eyes. So I think I'm gonna go into this color Sabrina right here, just on an E25 from Sigma, and just really lightly apply that to my outer V area. Really lightly. Yeah, I don't know, I just like that. I was thinking about that when I was looking in the mirror, I'm like, something's completely missing. So this is how it looks so far. So I just applied this Maybelline Tattoo Studio uh, purple liner in my waterline. Now I'm just gonna take a small little round brush and I'm gonna go back into that color Sabrina. And I'm gonna apply that to below my lower lash line. Concentrating mainly on the outer part of my lower lash line and then I'm gonna go in with the color page which is the the matte pink and use that on my inner uh, lower lash line so 
I really like these two together a lot. And then I just want to take a small little blending brush and just brush them out a little bit. And then for my inner corner, I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into that color Prue, which was that purpley pink iridescent shift. And I'm just gonna apply that to my inner corner to give it a nice little pop right there. So it like that. All right, so this is the whole look done right here. I actually really, really like it. It kind of came out how I envisioned it would. I'm not sure if I like this lip gloss with it. I thought it was actually going to be a tiny bit lighter, but that's okay because I'm already in my pajamas and it doesn't matter. So it is what it is. I I really like it. I love like a good sparkle and it's kind of a monochrome look, which is also really cool. So yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the second edition of Glamour and Pajamas because there's never not... A right time to be glamorous um so i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend i should be back on sunday with fourth edition of self-esteem sundays so i should be doing that this sunday if not i'll definitely have a video up early next week so anyway if you guys really like this video please feel free to give it a like if you really really like this video please feel free to subscribe if you want to do neither that is totally fine thank you for stopping by i will still send you positive vibes and happy thoughts just for stopping by so thank you as always i will list everything that i used as well as my instagram and twitter handles right below here just in case you were interested in following me there i post pictures of looks that i do not film as well as pictures of my tots and i think that are adorable but of course i am biased but oh well so anyway from one makeup lover to another hope you guys have a fantastic day and remember be you do you love you bye